where the governor Arun Ravi has walked out of the assembly following Chief Minister M K Stalin's speech. Now, Chief Minister Stalin proposed a resolution over Governor Arun Ravi's speech. The Chief Minister said that the governor's address was first sent to him for approval, post which it was printed and distributed to the MLAs. Remember the do, uh, the ruling uh, DMK in Tamil Nadu has taken a strong exception to Governor Arun Ravi's remark terming Dravidian politics as regressive. He, now his suggestion to refer to Tamil Nadu as Tamilagam has not gone down well with the DMK and also its allies and this is what the entire controversy is about. Now we are told that the governor has staged a walkout from the assembly and this is after the chief minister uh, MK Stalin's address where he has proposed a resolution over the speech that was uh, given by the governor. Now, the chief minister said that governor's address was first sent to him for approval and post which it was printed and distributed to the MLAs. Taking this across to my colleague Purnima to greet uh, our viewers more perspective on the story. Purnima, why the walkout? What was the bone of contention? What is the worry that uh, the governor really staged a walkout? Uh, what is the message that he's giving here? Well, it all started with the governor's speech when uh, DMK's allies, including the Congress, the VCK, the left party, staged a walkout uh, uh, condemning the statement made by governor uh, for a name change for Tamil Nadu, said Tamaragam is more appropriate. Mm. And after they staged a walkout, after the governor finished his speech, uh, uh, the allies of uh, the DMK came out saying that uh, the governor had skipped certain parts of the speech, uh, the paragraphs that had Dravidian model, spoke about the model of governance that uh, uh, CM uh, Stalin has been talking about for the last one and a half years mm. and after the governor completed his speech uh, CM immediately uh, started uh, making a statement saying that it, he's really saddened uh, mm. with uh, the way the governor has skipped certain parts of the speech uh, and while uh, Chief Minister in fact said that they will pass a resolution condemning this the governor in fact left the assembly so this is how the drama unfolded today it started with governor's speech uh, when in the beginning itself the allies of the dmk walked out after which uh, uh, the governor's speech uh, ignored certain parts that had Dravidian model that had the names like anna periyar mm. uh, which uh, the dmk has been talking about uh, uh, so all those uh, parts were skipped is what uh, the dmk had alleged and after the governor finished his speech uh, chief minister immediately uh, started uh, his speech and passed a resolution condemning the governor's speech saying that after uh, the rule is that uh, the speech prepared by the government will be read out by the governor but despite giving an approval and printing it and passing it on to the MLAs um, certain parts were uh, skipped and that's something that the DM uh, that the chief minister had uh, uh, said in in the assembly and in fact he uh, said that uh, they are deeply saddened with the way things panned out when CM began talking about it uh, before passing the resolution the governor governor left the assembly and uh, DMK now uh, it's very clear that the standoff between uh, the DMK the ruling party and the governor is only intensifying mm. so uh, more drama is expected to unfold in the coming days as well when uh, certain bills that are still pending before the governor including the bill banning online gamings all those uh, is likely to be uh, taken up in the assembly all right. uh, in the coming days okay Punima, thank you so much for that all right uh, we have